Who's up for an old school thriller? Beckett is a new Netflix original movie starring John David Washington. Will you be adding it to your watch list? And I guess more importantly, should you? Following a tragic car accident in Greece, Beckett, an American tourist, finds himself at the center of a dangerous political conspiracy and on the run for his life. John David Washington is Beckett. He's on vacation in Greece with his girlfriend, played by Alicia Vikander. As they're traveling for the day, they have a terrible automobile accident. Beckett wakes up battered and bruised and unexpectedly finds himself in all kinds of danger as he is thrust into the middle of a mysterious conspiracy. This has a very Hitchcockian feel to it. We have a central character who unwittingly stumbles upon something and doesn't even know what it was, but then finds himself on the run from bad people who want to do terrible things to him. Now, the beginning of the film is a little slow, but it doesn't linger too long there. Once the accident occurs, the suspense, anxiety, and unease all crank up, leading us on an exciting and fast-paced manhunt. In addition to having a Hitchcockian feel, it's almost like a neo-noir thriller. The tone and execution lend itself to feeling like it's set in decades past, even though it's taking place in the present, with present-day issues. The mystery in this is pretty twisty. It's not so much a who done it as a who's doing it, and why. I love the mistrust that is set up throughout the story. We meet several characters that all could be villains. There's an added complication that Beckett can't speak Greek, so there's a massive impedance to his progress as he tries to travel through a rural part of northern Greece. The language barrier also really helps to set up the mistrust. Beckett has to give some info in order to try and receive help, but when he doesn't know who to trust, he could be showing how much of something he actually knows to the wrong people. Now, one thing with this chase story is that we have to suspend a good amount of realism and belief when it comes to Beckett's injuries. There are a handful of scenarios that any normal person just wouldn't survive. The story does introduce conveniences to help make them slightly more possible, but if we focus too heavily on injuries and the likelihood of survival, it will certainly distract from the overall enjoyment of the movie. I found that the story was really increasing my adrenaline level because of how thrilling the chase was becoming. We go from scenario to scenario in a relatively short amount of time as Beckett tries to work his way back into the larger city where the U.S. Embassy is. He's hoping he can find refuge there, as well as maybe figure out what the heck is going on. In addition to Alicia Vikander as co-star, there's also Vicky Creeps, who we saw most recently in M. Night Shyamalan's Old, and Boyd Holbrook. And I like what they both bring to the story in terms of their character actions. Creeps is quieter and compassionate, and she also helps to fill us as the audience in on some of the turmoil and upheaval that is going on in the region. It is important to the story, but I love how the narrative sets everyone up so we can't be sure if she can be trusted. Holbrook is an embassy agent, and the same goes for him. His character feels like he can be trusted, but can he? Each character we meet has the air of mystery surrounding them, which makes this a really fun ride. While the story may not be as great as Harrison Ford's The Fugitive, the chase aspect is almost as fun, in a more compact and tight time span. The events of the actual chase take place over the course of one day or one and a half at the most. This helps to create a lot of urgency, which in turn greatly increases the tension we feel as we watch Beckett go from one anxiety-ridden scenario to another. Now, despite all I've said about not knowing who to trust, I do think there are portions of this that are fairly predictable. It did ruin a little of the intrigue for me, but not the excitement. The action, regardless of whether or not you figure out what's going on, is still highly engaging and crazy. I really like also that they make Beckett an everyman. He doesn't have any special skills or training. He's not some secret agent who can call upon his training to save him. He's just a regular dude, kind of shy and stumbling, who's thrust into an incredible situation and then has to figure out a way to survive. In this way, it makes the action and drama more exciting. Mostly unbelievable, sure, but it's still captivating. I think the overall deeper plot is a little weak, or at least not too resonant. I ended up not really caring about the motives because they weren't really relatable to me. I can see how that may be an issue and decrease the likability of the story. For me, I was more caught up in the pursuit, so the reasoning behind it was of less importance. I also think that the majority of the characters are not well developed. The bad guys are bad, but that's about all we get. Even the background on Beckett isn't really fleshed out. The story is mostly relying on John David Washington's charisma and charm to sell the character to us and engage us enough that we are invested in his well-being. 
I loved the use of environments to create both peril and intensity. The movie starts off in a sort of mountainous setting where you could come upon a cliff without even realizing it until you got to the very edge. There are also settings on trains, in cars, and even a parking structure that all add some great excitement. And most of these are semi-claustrophobic and very contained spaces, so the options for escape are very limited. I liked how the story moved us from one to the next, each with its own level of potential danger. At an hour and 48 minutes, it's not too long, and once the chase began, the story never really dragged. The pace kept driving the narrative with action and danger, so it was pretty exciting. So overall, this is an adventurous and thrilling chase movie with some twists and turns. And although the story lacks in deep character development and a central plot that is only mildly intriguing, John David Washington in the title role delivers an adrenaline-filled performance as a man on the run. You will have to suspend belief on a lot of the stunts and injuries, but if you're up for going on a wild ride, grab Mr. Toad and give it a watch. There's brief sex, no nudity, a bunch of profanity, and some absolutely brutal violence. I give Beckett four out of five couches. What's an exciting movie or show you've seen recently? Let me know what you watched in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.